Well, it's been a while since um, I've done any videos, and uh, it's not because I didn't want to uh, contact anybody or, or reach the audiences that, uh, that I had spoken to before, but it was uh, time for uh, reflection and uh, study and research, and uh, it appears that something quite epic has come about. Uh, I had a lot of emails coming in asking me uh, what my opinion was of this coronavirus. And I think the key thing is, my concern is that uh, true Christians, followers of Christ, will always need to know they need to go to the Bible to get the answer. So there's nothing that we'll ever have to face that God hasn't given us good counsel ahead of time and the ability for us to uh, receive not only just this good counsel, but to receive comfort so that we're not like the unbelieving legal participants that are out there of these nations that are all panicked right now over this coronavirus. So I'm going to read out of two translations, uh, one of the King James, one of the American Standard, uh, the counsel God's Word has for us to deal with anything to do with pestilence or these kind of concerns. So what does God's word tell us? Well, let's go to Psalms 91. I'm reading out of the King James. Under Psalm, 90, Psalm 91. And the category under Psalm 91 is abiding in God's care was how they put a subheading over this, out of this study Bible of the King James. So abiding in God's care starts off Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers, and under His wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the dragon shall thou trample under feet, because he hath set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and shew him my salvation. Emphasizing, of course, the key verse uh, dealt with pestilence, that we were not to be in fear, that we'd actually, God would put angels in charge of us to protect us if we have our trust in God. So the panic and the pandemonium that we're seeing out there right now uh, is definitely a sign of people without faith in God. Uh, certainly people that have put their wrong allegiance and loyalty uh, to the wrong crown. Jesus Christ is the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, and for Christians, he is their sovereign. So therefore, having a panic or a unfortunate, uh, I would say, virus in the mind, lack of faith, the coronavirus being corona is crown, so it's a crown virus. I think it's a, mainly a crown virus because of people not putting their trust in the right crown, which is... Jesus Christ, the King. Putting our trust in men, we've been warned about this in the Bible, and uh, these are not people to put your faith in. 
and you've been warned ahead of time to only put your trust in God. And therefore, he's anointed his son as king, and that's where we're to put our salvation and our trust. So anything that moves away from this will, of course, lead to a panic, because people without God have no, uh, no ability uh, to have peace, which is what Christ left us as the inheritance. So for us to worry right now, like the rest of the unbelieving members of these nations that are out there, and put our focus on a virus or a plague is not scriptural. And uh, therefore, we have to go to the scripture. So I'm going to read out of the American Standard the same. It's a little easier to understand, a little bit more in everyday language. Psalm 91 reads, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For it is he who delivers you from the snare of the trapper and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you may seek refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a bulwark. You will not be afraid of the terror by night, or of the arrow that flies by day, of the pestilence that stalks in darkness, or of the destruction that lays waste at noon. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not approach you. You will only look on with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. For you have made the Lord my refuge, even the Most High your dwelling place. No evil will befall you, nor will any plague come near to your, near your tent. For he will give his angels charge concerning you to guard you in all your ways, that they will bear you up in their hands, lest you strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you will trample down. Because he has loved me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him securely on high, because he has known my name. He will call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With a long life I will satisfy him, and let him behold my salvation. So clearly, we are to put our complete trust in God, and by his power and his salvation, we're protected from these things. Whether this is a real virus or a mental scam that's been put out there where they're playing with your temple, we as Christians or believers are to go to Scripture to get the answer. So I'm not going to spend time on this video going into many of the things that may prove it to be a false virus and maybe something related to the economics that's not the purpose of the videos at this stage and where I'll be going with videos in the future. But I wanted to clarify that at this very tumultuous time where people are worried and seeing the crazy confusion that's been out there, uh, it can only come about by a mass mob of audience of people who are not looking to the scripture for the answer. So please go to your Bible and look and search.